Hilliard Technical Center is helping a local boy by designing and printing plastic fingers to help him grip. Jackson Weston, who was adopted by Douglas and Donna Weston, was burned in a house fire when he was only four. Over 65 percent of his body was burned and he lost his fingers and almost his life in the fire. At Shriners, he was critical. We could have lost him any time in four weeks. Yeah. But Jackson survived and has flourished. He's now nine years old and determined to do anything he sets his mind to. They determined what his life was going to be, you know, and I accepted it until <laughs> he gave me reason not to. And he gives me reasons every day. We, we never thought Jackson would be able, able to ride a bike because of the grip. <laughs> yeah, right. He figured out a way to he, do it. He, he makes things work. He's determined. Mr. Weston was determined as well, and that's why he contacted Roger Maple. Uh, Mr. Weston saw a newsreel on a, the phone of a friend of his at work, and it was over the hand and the, some of the people who have been using it, and he wanted to get one or do one for his son. He was my understanding was getting ready to go out of town to purchase a 3D printer, which could be quite expensive. Mm -hmm. And right before he left, he called us to see if we had one and if we'd be interested. And, uh, and the rest is history. Jackson's hand has had several fittings, and this fitting should be one of the last. The printer is currently finishing printing the hand out of plastic, and so far it's taken over 17 hours. Prints off a, a material called ABS plastic. It's the same thing they make a uh, black drain pipe out of or plumbing pipe. It's also what Legos are made out of. And while a hand made out of Lego material is cool, Jackson just wants to be like his dad. Now we got being good like that. Those are That's the what it's all about right there. For Fox 26, I'm Cecilia Reeves.